So in the last episode, we talked about how to find winning products. We touched on marketing angles and I made you a promise, a bulletproof strategy. And today is the day that I've been looking forward to for the longest. The day we go advanced, the day that's gonna make the dropshipping gurus hate me because their $2,000 course information is what I'm gonna reveal today for completely free to you. This all started because I was sick and tired of bullshit dropshipping videos like 24 hour challenges. Drama about dropshipping dying to try to sell you on new programs and false dreams being sold. A revolution starts from people understanding the truth that they've been lied to. And with the right education, we are able to take back all the control and we're able to win. Because there is a dark side. There are people holding you back from success with this business. And for the longest time, I was wondering, why is that? But doesn't it all kind of make sense? You're making a bunch of money for yourself with your own strategies. Why would you give it away to everyone? Why would you share valid information that's gonna help someone make money so they can compete with you? But if there's one thing I wanna be remembered for, it's being the guy that kept it real with you. The one who made education free. Someone who changed the space for the better and led the movement where the people under him was climbing up and we're all winning. I think there's no doubt about this. We need a change and somebody's gotta do it. So let's get started. From the last episode, you should be ready and feel confident in starting up your first store with a winning product that's actually good. And we discussed the criteria earlier. We need something that either one, solves a problem or makes someone's life easier or handles their insecurities. Or two, my favorite, a product that is too cool not to purchase. Something that simply just nails the wow factor. Now, the next thing we need is a unique marketing approach. We talked about how you can give products new lives in different markets. We need to sit down and come up with a super unique marketing angle that stands out and an offer too good to reject. But in this video, I'll show you a resource that you can use with AutoDS to actually track the product's performance. But not only that, it will help you know exactly where to to sell it so that you can avoid all competition and completely dominate your own market. And as you can see on these results right here, which comes from the exact strategy I'm teaching you now, it's working really well. And by the way, on Sunday, I'll even be testing out this strategy on a 48 hour dropshipping challenge just to prove to you that it works and you will make some sales. But talking about marketing angle, the most important part about dropshipping, when coming up with a unique marketing angle, you wanna make sure you ask yourself these questions. Is this product way too trendy? Has it died out yet? Have anyone used the marketing angle that I'm trying to use for this? And am I forcing an angle here? Here. Does my marketing plan even fit the item? Now, the first three things we can find out in just five seconds. So let me show you how I do. So with AutoDS, there's obviously a lot of feature. The main one being that we can get trusted and fast shipping times. It's the best supplier out there. But what I wanted to tell you here is how you can spot opportunities in the market. And they have a section right here called trending products. Okay. So what I want you to do with every single product that you run is to come over to this section. And you can actually find winning products, first of all, yourself just by scrolling down here. But what's gonna be the most common situation is that you're gonna find something in AliExpress that you want to run. So you're gonna search up keywords for it. And in this case, we're just gonna pretend that it's the Galaxy projector we found. We can find a product right here. And they're also gonna give us a selling price where which we can lower a little bit if you want to and get the profit. But now the thing I actually wanted to show you here, which helps you really time the market, is this, the trends, okay? As you can see now, it seems like this product was working really well in the winter, but it's now falling drastically. That's gonna mean one thing. It might not be a good time to run it at all. Seems like the trend is dying. But check out this one right here. We can see that it started to trend right now. This can be a really good time to sell it. In April, it was sold only 686 times. Now, 6,000. So that's a 10X just in May. And June has obviously just started, so we're not gonna know yet. But trusting based on the graph, this product is about to explode right now. And with that being said, it's probably gonna become somewhat competitive. But remember, you gotta be different. Now, the thing I want you to do here is to see where it's untapped. Look at this. Who would believe that a store in Mexico or probably multiple is making so much money with this product? I would not think about that, but it's pretty warm there. And then we can see it's popular in Korea, United States and Spain. Now, many people would sell it to Spain, right? Because it's a warm country in the summer, but it seems like that's where all the competition is going. So what I want you to do here, you can see the percentage of the distribution, right? Which countries are the most competitive? And that's obviously Mexico and US, Spain for this type of product. So what I want you to do is this. I want you to scroll a little bit to uh, 
like the fifth slide or something. And here you're gonna find so many untapped countries. Some guys are crushing it in Mexico. Maybe you could sell it in Chile. But if we scroll more, we can find countries like Netherlands, modern European countries where the economy is good, people make a pretty good salary as well. And we could definitely sell it there as something they could use in the summer. Now the distribution is only 0.43%. So it means that we have found an untapped market so where's the competition? Well, it's probably gone. But your mistake is that you would run this to the USA or you'll probably run it to Spain just because you think it's warm there, but that won't work. So by doing this, we can find untapped countries, but not only that, we can time the market. We can see where the trend is at right now. And AutoDS has given me a link that gives you a free 30 day trial. And that's gonna be linked in the description. So make sure you head down and get it because it's a must have tool for your dropshipping store. And I use it to analyze every one of my products. Now, the next thing I do is I come to the Facebook ad library because you always wanna double check your stuff, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if the product is saturated. I'm gonna search for the USA and then I'm gonna search portable fan. Now this method is not as uh, bulletproof, but it kind of gives you that extra comfort that you need. Because when you search for portable fan, which is a very broad word, you're gonna see many different types of fans. So what I'm gonna do for this situation is I'm gonna search. So say you wanna sell, for example, the sunset lamp, which is really saturated, but for an example, you found it on AutoDS, you saw that it seemed to be like a good time to jump on it, you find it on top country. You can actually double check it in the Facebook ad library. So we can hit the US, we see the sunset lamp got 940 results. I'd say it's a little bit too much maybe. Uh, so what we'll go ahead and do is we will go and select Germany and we get the same amount of results for some weird reason. Let's search for New Zealand. Let's see how saturated it is there. And just like that, the result was cut in half. The best feature is obviously gonna be the one I showed you with AutoDS. But if you go ahead and you add the Facebook ad library on top of it, you can get some extra reassurance, but you shouldn't really need it. And with this info, you can decide to run the product. And keep in mind, nothing is really too saturated as long as you find an untapped country, marketing angle or audience for it. So everything is in place now and we have two options. We can either one, steal someone's marketing angle that we find on TikTok and just run it to another country or we can make our own marketing angle and enter the same market as them with our own unique approach. But my best advice to you though is to create a store and translate a website that can do it for as little as five to ten dollars and deliver already tomorrow. And then for your video ads you can just use chat GPT or Google Translate to fix it yourself. But the most most important part is this. Untapped Countries has an extremely low cost per click when you're advertising. Picture this, you're running a store in the top five countries or to the USA and you spend around $2 just to acquire a website visitor. You have advertising costs and fulfillment expenses. Then let's say your conversion rate is around 3%. You would need 30 visitors just to make a sale. So if you spend $2 to get a visitor, which is realistic in these markets, you would find yourself spending around $60 to get one one single sale. Then ask yourself this, how would that ever be profitable? And why do I so desperately care about selling in the US? In European markets or even countries like Australia, we can get super low cost per click. The ad cost for, for example, Italy can be as little as 20 cents for a visitor. Now that's 10 times cheaper than America. Yet the traffic quality remains the same, if not even better as it's untapped. So simply translate your website and you could run pretty basic ads too. You don't have to have the perfect website, even though I recommend it, because there's no competition. So you set the industry standard. And with this, dead products will now become alive again in new markets. So you don't have to hunt winning products. You can take a concept that's already working, but kind of dying out or becoming saturated, put it to your own market and you'll get 10 times lower ad costs and 10 times better traffic. So it's a no brainer. Now, if you don't want to translate your store, that's completely fine. Focus on countries like, for example, Australia, and you will see success really fast. But if you struggle to come up with unique marketing angles or you lack some sort of creativity, just steal a concept that works for someone else and put it to your own audience. But let's look at it because it's actually quite simple. Now, take a look at this product right here, for example. This is actually somewhat of a generic product, I would say, in my opinion. And they are doing one country dropshipping uh, with a different language. Now, like I said, it's a pretty generic product. And in my opinion, if you run this as basic dropshipping, nobody would ever purchase it. But here you can see someone who is an absolute master in content creation, and they're able to make the product super unique so that the customer buys because he thinks the content is cool, not just because he sees an ad for the product. Now, if you sold this as just a sweet gift for your girlfriend, 
let's be honest, it just would not work. Or if you sold it as a plushie for kids, you wouldn't make a single sale. The reason it works is because it's funny. But check this out. These guys can't have much money because they're doing so good. 12 million views, 17 million views. Yet they have a myshopify.com domain. It's medium, I would say. You guys can easily beat this store. Like they only understand a content creation. Now imagine someone comes in who watches my videos and understands all of it. You're going to crush them and you're going to make hundreds of thousands of dollars. So that's an example of the store that makes a whole new vibe around the product. Now let's rewind to episode one where we were talking about this product right here, which is a very basic garden product that just helps with storage. However, you could run it as a way for all people to get back up again. As you can see right here in this picture, it's going to help you get back up. So if you're old, you can't go in your garden anymore. You struggle with back pain. This product solves it. So to conclude, like in episode one, you want to find something and come up with your own approach to it so you capture your own audience. So let's create a niche store towards old people and do copywriting that fits them. And then we advertise it like I just told you. And by doing this, you're no longer really in the garden niche. You're no longer really competing with others selling the product. You're literally creating a store in the healthcare niche, but it's for a garden product. Now, these are the first examples that came to my mind though, after just 10 minutes of product researching. So imagine yourself sitting down for an hour or two product researching and coming up with ideas. You will eventually come up with something genius and dropshipping has to be done with intention, okay? Too many YouTubers are telling you to just test products, copy content and hope that it works. Do what your competitor is doing, just tweak it and make it a little bit better. But how can they seriously believe that beginners are gonna follow a successful store and make their concept better. The thing that frustrated me so much and the main reason why I made this event is because I realized that the YouTubers, I don't think they really understand what it's like being a beginner. And the strategy is the one they use for themselves, which is on a high level and all hidden in their course. And to give you a quick spoiler too, none of them are doing dropship. Therefore, I want you to listen to me. I make over $500,000 a month with this exact strategy. And it's not hidden behind a paywall. I'm giving you the step-by-step -step method that I use in this event. You have all the tools now. But Henrik, why would you give it away? Wouldn't it just give you more competition? Well, that's somewhat true, but I'm running branded stores now. It's not possible for anyone to compete with the business that I have. However, my method can make beginners go from zero to $100,000 relatively fast, and then they can find their own unique way of scaling their store. Now let's talk about the most important part of dropshipping, okay? Video ads. Even more important than a marketing angle. So you have to listen to me carefully right now. Please just remove all your distractions. Video ads. The thing that actually sells your audience in the first place. Imagine if you're watching this event and it's some random video that I made myself in just a couple of minutes. No flow. And on top of that, I'm showing my video to people interested in watching Netflix. Nobody would ever listen to me or click on this. And the same exact thing goes for your video ad. It needs to be on point. Dropshipping in 2024 is no longer about testing products, if I can be honest with you. It's about testing audiences, but most importantly, video ads. And of course, in this event, I'll also show you my exact ad setup, how I run my advertisements, as well as how I scale them. But more on that later. So let's look at some amazing video ads that you can replicate. And I will also give you a tool that I personally use myself to create my video ads. Now a good video ad, it's structured like this. A great hook, something that grabs the customer's attention. This can be words such as, my girlfriend is gonna hate me for this, or I'm never going to the gym again after this. And then obviously you find a product that fits it, right? Hooks are the most important part of your video ad and your whole sales process. This is where the customer decides if they will give your concept a chance or not. And most of your viewers will drop out already here because let's be honest, your hook probably sucks. Dropshipping isn't really about being so professional anymore. It's about understanding trends and creating awesome hooks and video ads. The second thing you need is to show your product in action instantly. If you can find people online that's using your product, for example, on TikTok, so you can get someone's face in it, that will be amazing as it creates so much social proof. Remember that you can steal some parts of people's videos and there's so many out there that shows their own face in their TikTok with your product. The third thing after that is you want to have a clear and good CTA, call to action. And this has to be unique and it's super important. Buy yours for 50% off today is not gonna work. Come up with unique offers like visit today and claim your free gift. This adds curiosity to your video ad, an emotion that makes customer wanna pay attention to you and visit your store. Human psychology is really important, okay? So make it exciting and unique. Now, if you have zero creativity though, which is unlikely, you probably just think like it's a little bit awkward. Oh, it's not for me. I'm not gonna come up with good hooks. It probably isn't the case, but if that's you, 
just copy someone and then you just take their concept and run it to an untapped country. But if you really want to get rich, you have to understand this concept. Now here we have someone who nails the concept. They're doing an unboxing video and you can see that there's an actual person behind it. So that creates a little bit of social proof and look at how amazing and cute the product is as well. Now what you should do in that situation is to add your offer at the end of the ad. Now look at this, somebody here is nailing the hook. Don't let your boyfriend see this. This creates curiosity and is the reason why people have watched it. Then it instantly explains here what the product does and shows it in action. Now here we have an example of a hook that I would call pretty generic. Point of view, you get this for stress. It's pretty boring. Now check out this one though, which got over a hundred million views. This one is really good because it applies to students and how they can do bad things on their tests. So we need something that's a little bit controversial or grabs people's attention, but you wanna have multiple different ones anyways. So you can try a bit of everything. Now, if you don't have so much editing skills or more importantly, you wanna spend your time on actual productive tasks while leaving content creation up to someone who knows how to do it, you should use viral ecom ads following the method that I use. Viral ecom ads is the most known ad agency in the entire industry and I personally use them for all of my stores. It works perfectly fine for both testing and scaling your products. Of course, I'm gonna link it in the description as this is one of the tools you're gonna need. But here you can see their website right there. And there is one specific package you need because what did we talk about? Content is the most important in 2024. So for that reason, you never wanna rely on only one ad. So I recommend you to get the TikTok split test package or the Meta slash Facebook split test package, okay? That's gonna give you multiple different video ads, three to be precise, so that you have some room for testing. Then you're gonna have the ability to add text, and of course you wanna do that, and then you can put voiceover, but that depends on you, what you think is the best for your store. You can buy a video ad right now, and they're gonna send you a template that you can fill in with your product info, etc. But what's really important here is for you to instruct them a little bit. When I use viral ecom ads, I always tell them kind of what I want, right? I tell them, this is gonna be my hook. I want you to show the product in action instantly. I want you to ideally find someone who can be like a testimonial to show real people in the video ad. So by using viral ecom ads and also instructing them, you can get your very own marketing angle on the product, but you will have experts making it for you. And like I said, I'm doing a 48 hour challenge after this using this exact method, and I'm gonna prove to you that it works. So if you wanna outsource your video ads and you wanna get ads that's actually good, I'm gonna go ahead and link viral ecom ads in the description so you can get going today. So what I want you to do now is to get or prepare video ads for the product that you're gonna be advertising, because in the next episode, we're gonna talk all about marketing. It's gonna get really advanced. It's probably gonna be very long too, and I'm gonna teach you exactly how to test products, how to know if your product is worth it, how to scale it, and literally the entire blueprint going from zero dollars to $10,000 a day with Shopify dropshipping. It's gonna be the most advanced video I've ever posted on my channel, and there's a reason I saved it for the last episode because I only want serious people like you who stayed until the end to get the exact strategy. I don't want lazy people seeing this, running away with the strategy, trying it and messing everything up. So for that exact reason, I'm gonna see you in episode three, the final, and I'm gonna change your life.